J drone here, and uh, we'll just put it out there so you can see me. And then we'll get back down to that. Um, I just want to go over this charger. I want to go over uh, the this board here so you guys know how to use it. If maybe you don't know how to use it, this board is specifically designed for this XT60 connection, um, so you can parallel charge. Myself, I don't have an XT60 connection. Uh, I mean, I do. I have a Florian just like this. I have a Florian just like that with an XT connection. That one has like an Alsema connection, which somebody told me what that Dean's connector. That's a Dean's connector connection, which is what right there. Um, but here, look. What I wanted this for is to charge your standard 2S batteries that have that connection right there. So I'm going to show you what will happen if you just plug this in. Um, we are going to go ahead and plug this in right here because all down the side it has come on buddy okay we're plugging it in wrong all down the side it has all these connectors um you have 1s 2s 3s 4s 5s 6s um so that's what i wanted to use it for so here we will put this up here you should be able to see that we are on charge at 2 amp 7.4 volt 2s so we are going to hit start and hold start connection break so, okay, um, we're going to hit stop. And that was the lipo balance. So, okay, let's go to uh, lipo charge. We should be able to charge it, right? Connection break. Okay, so we're going to hit stop. So, what I wanted to see then, I wanted to see, well, okay, maybe it won't do these. Maybe it'll do a bigger battery. So we have the Star Falls battery here, which is a 1300 milliamp an hour, 11.1 .1 volt, which is a 3S. So we're going to go down to here, which is the 3S, and we're going to go ahead and plug that in. Bam, we got that plugged in. And we are going to change our settings here by simply hitting start. That, that'll change that, the amps you're going to charge with. We'll go to, oh, I'm sorry. There, that's how you change it up and down. Then hit start again, then you'll get over here. And we want to be at 3S. So we're going to click start. We're going to go over here. We want to do a balance charge, right? See if that works. And we are going to hit start. Connection break. Okay. And just to show you stop, we'll go over to lipo charge. Hold start connection break okay it's not going to do it hold stop let's unplug this so what i was thinking is that these white boards are out these white boards aren't working that's not the case my drone days members told me that uh basically what needs to happen is this white plug and this xt30 plug on this one both of them have to be connected and obviously they can't be on this at least stock anyway so Again, I had thought that was out. I had thought the whiteboard was out. So figure, well, let's go ahead and test this. So we've taken that off and we have our Florian battery here with BAM, Dean's connector. I'm learning here, guys. I'm learning. Um, and we're going to go ahead and connect that just like this. Go ahead and put that on there. BAM connect it and obviously we're gonna have to change this back so simply hit start hit start again we're gonna go back to a 2s hit start and we will go to uh, lipo balance balance connection error so essentially what it wants us to do is probably connect that over to here for a balance charge which we will go ahead and do so we can show you and again this is all the purpose of learning i learned all this on drone days if you're not on drone days you might want to get there uh quick learning on there and uh here we are going to click stop we're going to hold start again and try to get my finger out of there bam we are good to go it will charge now and I could start the charging if I'd like to but we're gonna go ahead and hit stop and then uh, we will go over here 
and so we have that unplugged um let's see i don't know if you guys are commenting or if i'm show live chat messaging bam i don't know if you're commenting or not but i just clicked that so i should be able to see it so all right so say uh say you only want to have that plugged in well if you only want to have that plugged in and you don't want to have that plugged in you still have an option you can still charge so you can go to lipo charge and and it will charge it you're not doing a balance charge now but you are able to charge it so okay let's stop we want to charge we still want to charge that bugs battery we want to charge this battery essentially what i had wanted to charge is this battery even if this was the proper connection even if this was the xt uh xt30 connection you probably wouldn't be able to connect that and the stock one so what i did here is I've taken an XT30 plug and I've ran wire off of it and then we have our ends here. Red is positive, your silver is negative. So I'm going to show you what I did so I can charge off of this, so I can charge the Bugs 2 battery off of this. We're going to simply plug the XT60 connector in there. We're going to take these, again the reddish color try to put that down a reddish color which is over here is your positive that's your negative negative. and all we are going to do is connect the positive to the negative on this simply in there positive and negative we'll try to do this on camera we're gonna put the positive in there BAM we're gonna put the negative in there BAM and then we really want those to just stay there a little snugness on it and it should be good so what we're going to go ahead and do we are going to hit a uh, lipo charge because it's not going to be a balance charge we're going to hit lipo charge bam we can charge it now so that's kind of a mod for you to be able to use this and we'll hit stop because i'll show you that you can do this with uh other things too we're going to take these off of here and again, you really don't want those two wires touching, but without charging, I don't think it's going to do anything. Um, but I like to keep them apart anyway. So, Bugs 2 can be charged. Can we do it with a Bugs 3? Absolutely. The same type of connector. All you would have to do is put the positive and negative in the right positive and negative hole. What I want to see, though, is a Parrot Bebop battery. Can we charge a Parrot Bebop battery off of this? Obviously, there's no connection for the Parrot Bebop battery. The Parrot Bebop battery is a very specific connection. But it is labeled here somewhere. I saw it before there. Here, we have negative and positive. So our positive is going to be the square. Negative is going to be the round. So our positive, which get down here, our positive is this wire. Our negative is where my thumb is. So we're going to switch it around and just make sure we have it right. Positive. No, nope, we did have it right. So there we go. Positive on this side, negative on this side. So we are going to get these wires unfrayed. That way there's no chance of them touching. We are going to go positive. Get that in the hole really good. And then we are going Oh, try that again. Positive. Maybe we should have put the negative in first. I think I have the positive cord uh, a little bit shorter. Yeah, so we'll do the negative first. So negative in the hole. Positive. Let's go. Of course, it ain't going to work. <laughs> um, here we go. Bam, so positive, negative. And uh, let's see here. This is a 1200 milliamp an hour battery. So we're going to change the amps to uh, 1.2. Uh, so we'll hit start. 1.2. Start. Still a two cell battery, I believe. Or no. 11.1 volt. That's news to me. 11.1 volt. Here, check it out. Did not realize that, uh, focus. Did not realize the Bebop batteries were 11.1 volts. So that was a good thing I read that. Um, we'll back this up a little so you can see it. And we'll put it in so you can see that. So we are going to change to 11.1 volt, 3S. That's what a Parrot Bebop battery is. Let's see if it'll charge. 
Bam! We can charge the Parrot Bebop's battery off of that board, off of the B6 balance charger, and it'll probably do it a lot quicker than the stock charger will. And it'll probably give it a better charge. So uh, all we have to do, just to show you here, all we have to do then is just hit start. Let's put this up here so you can see it. Or no, we don't want a fast charge. Bam. Now she's charging. Simple as that, guys. Uh, simple mod. I basically can charge anything, any type of battery, I can get that positive and negative into. Um, so that's going to be just about anything. All right, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this around if we can. I don't know that we can. Let's see. Will that do it? No, that won't do it. All right, here we go. Bam. There we are. I'm Jay Drone, and uh, this video, again, was to show you how to use this charger, how to make this charger more versatile for you, um, and give it more uses just than uh, XT60 connection. Um, it is, it's, it's simple, positive and negative feeds. Just make sure your positive and negatives don't touch while you're charging, and you will be good. Um, you never really want to go far from one of these chargers. Uh, you and if you are gonna go far from it and you really have to charge it away from it put it in a metal box put it in an ammo box put it in a really old toolbox um, that way uh, if for some reason something goes awry and you're not around to catch the fire you're not around to uh, extinguish the fire if a fire does happen which it really shouldn't as long as you're charging the way you should be charging but hypothetically it could um, then you're kind of covered. Then the fire will be contained inside your ammo box. It'll be contained inside the heavy duty uh, toolbox. I have a lot of heavy duty toolboxes that were made from like probably like the 1960s, 1970s that you could shoot a 22 bullet at and the 22 bullet will probably bounce off of it. So hypothetically, the lipo battery should be good if it were to go into a lipo fire. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And again, charge safe. Fly safe. I say when you're charging, don't go far from it. Um, guys, I see there's a couple people here. Do you have any questions, comments, concerns? I'm more than happy to answer them. I'm more than happy to jabber y'all back and forth with y'all when I'm on live like this. Um, that'll keep you from having to type in and wait for a response. Uh, again, we'll just go ahead and flip around here while we wait to see uh, if anybody's commenting here. I, I do have show live chat messages. I'm not really seeing any. So maybe you guys aren't commenting, but that's fine. Um, we'll turn this around again. What we've done is showed you how to make the B6 charger a little more versatile, especially with an XT60 board. I'm charging a Parrot Bebop battery right now. Charging it off of it. Show you right here, the numbers are moving. We're at 11.54 volts, and we did learn that the Parrot Bebop battery is a three cell. I didn't realize that. I figured it was a two cell battery. But uh, simply, all we've done, we've made an adapter for that XT60, uh, and we've ran a positive and negative feed off of it, and we've jammed the positive and negative feed in the positive and negative port of the Parrot Bebop uh, battery. Uh, where you get charger? I got the charger off of Amazon. I got the charger off of Amazon, brother. Um, this one here, let's pan back to it. This charger here is not the original B6 charger. The original B6 charger is a blue charger. This one is a generic one and it costs less. I'm all about saving money. So you can buy this. It's pretty cheap on Amazon. You will also have to buy the plug. It didn't come with the plug. Uh, the plug wasn't that expensive and it also wasn't that hard to find. Um, yeah, I like it too. Let's see here. Um, hold on. Let's flip you back to me. We will go back to me. I like it too, and I have other adapters, which I'm trying to look around here. I just I just had that one adapter. I have adapters for uh, small whoop batteries, which I'm not seeing for some reason. I just had them. I went live in drone days. Uh, if you're if you're not in drone days, definitely check out drone days. I do a lot of this stuff in drone days as well. But uh, you guys are my YouTube. I want to do this for you too. That way, hey, you need a better charger. Um, you need a faster charger. That's kind of what this is for. Where is that charger? Um, 
I had another board here and I don't see it. I'm pretty sure a troll or a gremlin has picked up my uh, charging board for my whoops. I have the same type of uh, I have the same type of charging board like this for small whoop batteries for like one cells. Um, will it storage charge? Absolutely, it'll storage charge. I'm almost positive it'll storage charge. Um, hmm. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's see if it'll storage charge. We'll stop charging. We'll stop charging this because you asked the question and I am catering to you right now. So we are going to hit stop. Stop. So we have a, here, we'll go back. We have a lipo balance charge. We have a lipo charge. We have a lipo fast charge. And bam, right there, brother. We got a lipo storage charge. And we also have a lipo discharge. So there you go. This has all types of uh, all types of modes here, and we are just gonna hold that, and we are gonna continue charging our Bebop battery. But uh, so there you go, um, J Drone. I see you. Sky's the limits. Yes, sir. Sky is is the limits. Um, sky's the limit with drones. Sky's the limit with anything, yo. Um, super thanks never seen a discharge function b6 has it and i'm pretty sure the original one does as well but the original one again is going to cost you a little bit more um this one that i have the orange one it was a little bit cheaper and again you guys see me buying all types of drones and whatnot i work hard for a living i like to pinch my pennies so if i can get essentially the same charger at a generic brand name not name brand i'm gonna do it um but yeah, anybody else got any questions referring to chargers, drones, whatever? Um, again, I'm happy to entertain your questions right now. That's why I'm going live. Uh, that's why I've started to go, to go live. Not only to be informative, because this is very informative. The whole front part of this video was strict to the point informative. But right now, I'm here to entertain anybody's questions, comments, concerns, whatever y'all need. Um, just get at me, and uh, I'm happy to... Uh, I'm happy to answer them right now. That way you don't got to type them later. Anybody got anything? Um, trying to think. I don't know that I have anything off the top of my head. I do have something coming in. The Bebop fly like the Phantom. Um, no. Nope. Bebop does not fly like the Phantom. Um, MJX question. Go ahead, shoot on the MJX question. I'm going to mildly touch on the Bebop and the Phantom. The Phantom is a I'm look, here. The Phantom is a steady, excellent camera bird. Ask that MJX question. I'll definitely get to it. Um, the Bebop is more or less uh, kind of a sport flyer with a computerized camera in it. it. The camera in the Bebop is constantly being computerized and digitally enhanced. There's no gimbal on the Parrot Bebop. Uh, it's on an anti-vibration skid plate. And the video feed is constantly being enhanced. And even if you were, say, uh, here, say this is the Bebop and this is the way it flies. This part's the bottom. This part's the top. If you were to flip the Bebop upside down, the video for somehow still stays right side up. Um, digitally enhanced. The Phantom... If you flip the Phantom upside down, that gimbal is going to go crazy. Um, what the what the Phantom is very good for is the hanging. It's an underhung gimbal, and it constantly counters. Um, my guy, Drama Dramish, I think it is. Shoot with that. Uh, shoot with that MJX question. I'm all about MJX, especially if it's a Bugs product. And uh, I'm happy I could shoot some info at you, brother. If you have anything else. I'm not really in any type of rush. Uh, let's see. Recently, I have experienced a bit of floating out of place when GPS, and I just lost it. There we go. Out of place when GPS is locked in with 16 satellites. Recently, I have experienced a bit of floating out of place when GPS is locked in with 16 satellites. Uh, you're talking MJX, so you're talking the bugs too. Um, how bad's the floating? Uh, you you have to uh, and here we'll pretend our battery's the drone again or yeah, I just grab a drone, bam. It, is is it floating like this? 
Yeah, the bugs too. Is it floating like this and lightly pivoting left to right, kind of floating like that? Or is it all over the place? If it's all over the place like this, there's a very good possibility you have interference. Um, if it's just floating a little bit left to right, a little bit up to down, if you have wind, it is going to pitch against it and lose altitude a little bit. Say the wind's coming this way over this way. It's going to pitch against it and you're going to lose altitude a little bit and it's going to float a little bit. The drone will float a little bit. The, the bugs too is a mostly left to right minor. Minor stuff, it's going to happen, brother. Um, the reason it's going to happen is because it's not a $500 drone. It is a 200, 200 and change minor wind. There you go. That's what it's doing. If it's, say my fingers are the front of it, if it's chilling and the wind is blowing this way, the drone is going to counter because it wants to stay in its position and it will slowly lose altitude. Um, it's not a $500 drone. It's, uh, it's like a 200, 200 and change dollar drone. It's an excellent drone. It gets excellent range. Um, but you will have that. You would definitely have the floating up and down left to right a little bit. Um, until you start paying 350 and higher for a GPS drone, you're going to have that. Even uh, even the Parrot Bebop. The Parrot Bebop, it don't so much float, it'll hold, but it'll get the shakes. It'll get the shakes and it'll hold in its position. But you got to figure right now, you could go ahead and pick up a, a Parrot Bebop 1 at Walmart for uh, $199. I mean, at one point, it probably retailed for about $500. That's why it stays in place and doesn't float, but it shakes. And what's great about the drone is even though it's shaking, you don't see it on video. You'll never see the shaking on video from Parrot Bebop. Excellent drone. Uh, what else you guys got? Anybody else got anything else you need to be addressed? Uh, any other questions, comments? Have you had problems with the ener energy light bulbs? All mine seem to just go bad out of the blue. Hold on. Sorry, I'm not a fast reader. I do apologize for that. I'm not a fast reader. I'm not a good speller. <laughs> um, Tenergy. Tenergy. I don't have too many Tenergy light bulbs. I have three of them. And two of them, well, <laughs> I really haven't used them much, so I really can't answer that question. Um, I Here, I could show you one of them. And I have duplicates. The one that I showed you earlier. Or no, that's Florian. So... I have one Tenergy light bulb. Let's see here. Um, will do, brother. Um, drama, Dar Himis. I think I'm saying that. You stay up too, brother. Tenergy. Bam. That's the only Tenergy light bulb that I have. And I've really only used it once. I used it to uh, fly the Bugs, the Bugs 3. I used it to fly the Bugs 3. And I was going to use it for like a extra battery. I wanted to use it for like an extended battery because the MAH is higher, but the C rating is lower. It's a 10 C and it really should be a 30 C if we're going to see any type of extra flight time. Um, so that didn't pan out too well. And I really haven't charged it or used it since then, but, uh, we're going to go ahead and pan there since I see more people are coming in. The initial post on this guys was, uh, for this B6 charger with the XT60 connection. I just basically showed you how to connect any battery to it. And we'll go down here and look at it again. I created a connection here, an adapter, ran the positive and negative off of it, positive and negative, bam jammed it right into a parrot bebop battery and it's charging it is charging guys and we could do the same thing to uh we do the same thing to this we could ram it in the positive and negative um the bugs and initially what i did it for was the bugs twos battery the bugs twos battery we just went right in there bam positive and negative and we're able to charge this off of that which is a quicker charge that's what i wanted i wanted a quicker charge and a more trusted charge the battery chargers that we get with these drones they're really not uh they're really not putting a lot into they're 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 kind of just shelling them out and the the bugs battery chargers have been good for me i i haven't had any issues with it but i know people have had issues with them so uh that's why i wanted to do this and that's why i got that charger i do have another charger which i'm not seeing because i'm a messy person and i got stuff all over the place um oh there it is so let's see we're gonna go down 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 all right bam and up, 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 up. 
here check it out so we're gonna flip this around i like this charger too this charger was uh i got before the b6 charger yeah i would get a b6 charger over anything even this charger this charger is super simple um it'll light up 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent and 100 percent and it'll charge up to 4s or 5s i think and it's simple you just plug it in and blink 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 once it gets here in a steady blink and the fan this is fan cooled um once the fan shuts off it comes off and this charge is woo just about dropped it as you can see i got drones over there got drones everywhere guys um it charges stuff pretty quickly uh but this is a more visual trusted charger when when i'm when i'm charging so when i want to get out and fly i use this that's what i use uh if i like right now it's nighttime on the east coast i'm not going out to fly i'm just kind of experimenting showing you stuff that's why i did this and i'm again we learned that this is a three cell battery the parrot bebop one and we're charging positive and negative rammed in the hole and we are going and let's see here we are at 11.0 11 11.8 11, 11 see how high that's going that's dude it's charging quick that's uh that's why i wanted this it's actually jumping a little there 11.899291 so it, it's going up slowly and we are charging at 1.2 amps because this is let's see here i saw it there 1200 milliamp an hour 1200 milliamp an hour so you move the decimal and we're at 1.2 so uh there you go all right guys what else you got for me anything j drone is live and j drone is here for you i'm always here for you but i generally am not live like this where you could ask me stuff and i'll respond immediately um what else you guys got anything anything whatsoever Hi, Jacob. Oh, whew, Jacob, this is the first interaction I actually get to have with you directly. What's going on, brother? Jacob's a long time, long time watcher and long time fan. Uh, I'll be watching in the future. Super Quad fly, Flyer, happy to see you here. Um, as always, I'm happy to have you watching. I uh, definitely appreciate you watching. I'm um, happy to hear you good, Jacob. You definitely need to get uh, mom and dad to grab you a drone. You grab SEMA's all day for like $30, $40. Uh, I know you've been out of the air for a while. Uh, definitely want to get back in the air. Definitely want to get back flying. I enjoyed watching you fly, brother. Um, what else? Questions, comments, concerns, guys. Um, basic questions. I would like to see your camera stationary sometimes on a small tripod with you standing behind it or around table lying this thing out. Well, that's what I did in the beginning here. Look, it is on a tripod. My camera is on a tripod. Bam. We'll get that nice and stable for you. Ask and you shall receive. There you go. Look, hands free. There's both my hands. It's on a tripod. Um, I dig what you're saying. You want to see me kind of at a desk type area and have uh, it stationary and whatnot. I definitely can do that. And since you ask, I will try to do that. My main issue is, J Drone's main issue doing that is, uh, I got stuff all over the place. <laughs> um, I'm in so many different directions with drones um i have stuff all over the place so i am off the next two days we will try to do that we'll try to do a j drone video with the tripod pointing towards me or me sitting at uh did you hear what happened in texas i did hear what happened in texas jacob i have friends in texas and my heart goes out to everybody in texas and i wish everybody in texas safe as well as louisiana um have you crashed your drone like lake what have you crashed your drone like lake? Not understand what you're saying. I have crashed drones. Uh, I've never crashed a drone in the lake, <laughs> if that's what you were asking. But yeah, uh, Texas, my heart goes out to every single one of you. I wish you all safe. I know I can't say stay dry because that's not going to happen because you are dealing with something catastrophic. And uh, my friend Kendall, I also have another friend from Drone Days there. Birdman, what is going on, brother? Birdman is in the house. What is going on? Happy to see you here. Um, 
but yeah, so uh, Texas, definitely try to stay safe as possible. Anybody in Texas, be well, and I wish you the best. Um, what distance have you had on your Phantom? Um, I really haven't flown my Phantom that far. Uh, the Phantom for me is uh, is just a camera bird. It's an excellent camera bird. Uh, I generally canvas stuff with the Phantom. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Maybe I've hit 300 meters. Um, I've probably hit about 300 meters with my Phantom, and I haven't pushed it. Heck, I've hit uh, I've hit about 300 meters with my bugs. I've hit about 300 meters with my uh, with my uh, pair of Bebop. What? drone concern you get next um what drone concern you get next uh i i'd assume jacob you were asking me what drone am i thinking about getting next well it's in the mail <laughs> imax b6 good yes it is david smith happy to see you here david smith um welcome and we'll just flip it around to here show you what i've done and we'll keep recapping for people who keep coming in b6 xt60 Charging a Parrot Bebop. We also hooked it up to that battery back there, which is the Bugs 2. Um, but anyway, what drone do I have coming in? I'm not telling you guys what drone I have coming in. If you are my YouTube watchers, you will see what drone I have coming in. It is something that I've been anticipating, waiting on, and I finally pulled the trigger on it. So it will be here eventually. I don't know how long, but it definitely will be here eventually. Nine... Well, I don't know what those numbers are. Man, they're just about giving away the tarantulas now. Yes, the tarantula X6s. Yo, if you are a new flyer or even an advanced flyer, uh, keep it up, though. This is entertaining, and there's a lot of potential for you with this live feed. I appreciate that. I truly appreciate that. I'm glad you're entertained. Um, as I do this more often and I'm not really concentrated on certain things, I'll kind of be off the wall because that's kind of my brain, a little bouncy ball and whatnot. But, um, yeah, the Tarantula X6s, if you're looking for a brush drone that, uh, that can fly really fast and get, could lift things, Tarantula X6, I paid close to $100 for mine. That was like a year and a half, almost two years ago. You could get Tarantula X6s dirt cheap now. Um, definitely want to go ahead and check that out. That was a good, uh, good reference point, good good feedback from uh, viewer to viewer we definitely do that here too it doesn't have to be me helping everybody viewer to viewer you guys could help one another we are all on the same channel here we are cohesive um can review the up up air one through 30 bucks shipped on e 30 bucks shipped on ebay for the tarantula x6 dope um I'm not going to review the Up Air 1 just yet. Uh, I have friends that have the Up Air 1. Uh, I believe uh, Birdman. I think you got the Up Air 1, right? Bam! See? See, this is what it's about. We are channel connecting right now. Um, Birdman is one of my homies. I talk to him a lot. If you want to go, just click his name. Click over to his channel. He has the Up Air 1, and I'm sure he's done several reviews on it. I'm sure he's done several testing on it. I believe we were actually talking about the Up Air 1 prior to me doing this live feed. So, uh, that's... That's the J Drone connection that you're getting right here. <laughs> um, hey, what else you guys got? Questions, comments, concerns. We got a decent amount of people filtering in here, so we have uh, we have some drone heads here. Um, I love the drone community too, Jacob. That's a huge part of my life. Did you ever figure out what was going on? Nope, I have not, my good sir. And we will go ahead and flip right here. We will show you. Bam! There it is. I'm learning a lot from watching you. Oh, Roberta Miller is learning a lot from watching you. Roberta Miller is my grandmother. Everybody here say, hi, Nana. That's my grandmother. Roberta Miller is my grandmother. Um, this is the Typhoon GPS drone. I have not figured it out yet. Uh, I also have not popped it open yet. I have a lot of toys. I have a lot of drones. And that's just not something I'm really concerned with. Do you have a drone that is good to use for a movie? absolutely um thank you guys for saying hi to my grandma i love her dearly um absolutely drone that is good for a movie would be uh it'd be your phantom your your, your dji phantom series um what up jay love the bugs 2 video you start you shared to me earlier bugs 2 rocks man um even birdman birdman's flying the bugs too birdman is 
out of sight with the bugs too. But uh, back to the camera bird. You can use a phantom for a camera bird. It is dope beyond dope. Um, if you wanna, if you want a smaller, more compact, again, the Parrot Bebop's camera is ridiculous. It's mind blowing how it works. Um, other than that, if you're really going for camera quality, let me try to think off the top of my head. Any DJI product, really. I mean, you, you got your Mavic, you have your uh, you have your Phantom Three, your Phantom uh, Four. You can mod, you can mod the bugs. Three and the Alcenma with Walker gimbal, and if you shove, uh, if you shove, what you call it, uh, the things that you block out sound with the little foamies that you put in your, if you shove those inside the rubber grommets, you won't get your left to right shaking. Um, do you have a cheap drone you can send me? Um, do I have a cheap drone I can send you? If you connect with me on Facebook, uh, I can sell you a sixty to seventy drone really cheap. I'd be more than happy to do so. Uh, have you? I believe somebody asked, "Have I flown?" Let's see. Have you flown the Mavic Pro? I have not flown the Mavic Pro. Wish Hubson would do like Parrot Bebop with. Uh, yeah, dude, the Digi Gimbal on the Parrot Bebop is ridiculous. Uh, if you, if you don't have a parrot bebop, it's hard to under, it's hard to explain how the camera is because everything's underhung. Even the, even the standard, even the, let's see here. Um, I'm trying to see, uh, standard gimbal. I don't think I have anything here with a standard gimbal on it. Even, even the lock gimbals, the ones that just sit underneath that you put your action camera in, those are underhung. Everything is underhung. Not the bebop, yo. Uh, the bebop has a superb camera for not being underhung. Um, you are, you have your bugs too and your Hubsons with your embodied cameras and even your Hubson uh, H107C, but there's, there's no gimbal action to it. You pitch forward, it's pitching forward. You pitch right, it's pitching right. And the, the basically like this, we're pitching right, you kind of get that. We're pitching left. You kind of get that. We're pitching forward. You kind of get that. Pitching backwards. You kind of get that. That's what you're going to get without a gimbal. That's what you're going to get without digital gimbal. And again, the best digital gimbal I've seen is out of Parrot. Uh, what else you guys got? Anything else? Um, picks up every bump. Yes, exactly. A, a station. What is going on, Jack? Um... A stationized gimbal is going to pick up every bump. It's going to pick up all the pitching and whatnot. Uh, and a lot of times, unless you have a good brush drone, like the SEMA X8 is a good brush drone. If you get a junkier brush drone, you are you're going to see Jello. What is Jello? That's Jello. Uh, when you get waves through your footage, that's what it's coming from. It's coming from vib vibrations. Uh, so be aware of that. All right, guys, we've been on for 38 minutes now. What else y'all got? Oh, yeah, wanted to give you some advice on the Phantom. Jack, shoot, give me advice on the Phantom. I'm no pro on the Phantom. I got my boy Joey LaPena, who is a pro on the Phantom, but shoot away. I'm going to read what you're going to write, and you're going to give everybody else advice on the Phantom. Shoot. Definitely, definitely don't claim to know everything. I'm a drone enthusiast like all you guys. I'm willing to learn. And if somebody's here to willing to teach me something, I'm up for it, y'all. Um, are you going to get into racing? If you lose connection, turn the controller off, and then it returns to home. Good advice. Lose connection, turn the controller off on the Phantom. It'll return to home automatically. I'd be a little bit scared to do it, but uh, I'm half tempted to try. Racing. I do have the Starfall that is a racing drone. I also have something that will be coming in that's more tuned into racing. The issue with racing is is uh, I can fly by line of sight. Line of sight, I am a line of sight monster. I can go out almost 300 meters by sight, not lose orientation, up in altitude. Don't forget to see that your return home out very good information um but yeah i can fly by sight all day is your b2 still flying it is still flying good i just flew it today and i'm i'm saving a video as we're speaking and it will be loaded to youtube uh i recorded with action cam underneath it i've modded it to action cam if you didn't check that but uh racing goggles i suck at flying fpv i'm not gonna what Jacob? I'm guessing what I said. What? What? Go ahead. Um, I'm not going to claim to be the dopest of everything. 
I suck at FPV, yo. Um, I tried flying with FPV with my wife as my spotter, and we lost the drone like two, three times, yo. Uh, so I do have a smaller drone. Uh, Chris, what is going on, brother? Happy to see you here. Um, Florida in the house. So uh, I need to work on my FPV skills because I would. I have friends that can fly FPV and do circles around gymnasium sets and do circles around buildings, and I want to do it. Um, very sad for you, Jacob, that you broke your finger. Definitely want to keep that on a splint and ice it occasionally and uh, stay off it. Make sure the air. That's, that's how you fix a broken finger. Splint it to the next one. So if it's those two, make sure your mom has a splint on it. Tape that up, and you'll be good to go. Um, lost connection to my phantom and I just sat in the air till I turned my controller off. Then it immediately re returned home. Yeah, dude. Um, I don't have the heart to do that yet <laughs> just because I did pay $500 for it. And that's kind of also why I don't fly it too far away. Cause it's like, bye bye, $500. See you later, buddy. Hope you come back. <laughs> and, uh, I'd rather keep 500, my $500 on site. Eventually I will take it out further. And eventually I will test those parameters. I have a friend named Joey LaPena. He's on drone days. He flies miles away from himself. He uses a lychee app and sends it on missions away from himself. And it works really well. Uh, we'll put 5.8 gig for FPV on the bugs to mess up my GPS. No, it shouldn't mess up your GPS at all. Um, are you going to do airplanes? Um, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to do airplanes just because uh, my time factor. I have an airplane. I have an airplane new in box that has FPV on it. I just got to get a transmitter to hook to it. It's Esheen Sky Warrior, maybe. I might be wrong about that, but it's brand new in the box. It's like a hundred some dollar drone. Um, you keep five hundred dollars balancing in the air. I don't wing. What? Not sure what you just said, Jacob. But um, yeah, I I don't know. I I would like to get into airplanes, and I almost bought another airplane. But the issue with the airplane, much like uh, well, no, the helicopters are a little bit different. Airplanes kind of go in one direction. The thing with drones that intrigues me is we can go in a direction we can stop we can go backwards left we can go any direction there there's no limitations a plane's kind of one direction make a bang turn still the nose is always your leading point um helicopters are a little bit different i have a i have two helicopters and the one helicopter i got yesterday i did fly inside and it flew well um so we are definitely going to test that in a larger room we're going to try to do that Thursday for you guys and give it a better review. Horrible review outside. What I've learned, uh, I've lost connection right overhead about 200 feet up. I don't know why, but I've tried everything and nothing happened until I turned off the controller. Uh, are you going to be going live on a regular basis? I am going to be going live on a regular basis. Uh, as far as losing connection right overhead, I don't know what that could be unless you are in a highly residential neighborhood and you are crossing signals with something. Um... What I, what I was going to say, uh, infrared. The helicopters operate off of infrared. Later drone, have a good night. Don't forget to sub your viewers. Bam. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, we will try to go back and check out everybody's channel as I have time. Because, uh, again, I do truly appreciate every single one of you. With the helicopters, they get short range outside because they're operating off of infrared. And to my understanding, the infrared is sending out a heat signature uh, or a very st emitting a strong light that it's picking up. That's why it doesn't work outside so well, but it does work, in work inside. Yo, the man J, hold on. Can't read fast. Um, yo, the man, Jay, I'm no problem, but I love stunting and fixing the wrecks. I create definitely became a soldering pro. Uh, but yeah, the Phantom is an awesome drone. Love mine. I love mine too. I don't fly it often. Being a soldering pro is where it's at, especially if you are building your own stuff. Uh, I'm definitely no soldering pro. I definitely know how to do it, but, uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of the splice wire king. <laughs> Um, I fix motors by splicing them and just taping them and the drones are still in the sky. Um, I've done that with several things. I've rebuilt an entire drone by, uh, basically splicing wires. None of the wires need to be soldered. All the wires were on the board, but they were detached from things. Will you consider the bugs for, come on again, I'm a slow reader. <laughs> uh, will you consider the bugs for the bugs three? Which one is better? Will you consider the bugs? Two 
for the bug okay which one's better the bugs two or the bugs three you can't compare them um one's a camera bird one's a gps bird the other one's a speed demon and a hauler so uh you really can't compare them it's all personal preference to me i don't know um chris cap says the bugs three his personal preference uh if i'm going out to shoot something and I want to grab and go, I'm grabbing the bugs too. If I want to go out and shoot something and I want dope, dope video, I'm probably grabbing the bugs three in one of my better action cams or maybe even a GoPro throwing it on it. So you don't plan on getting into RC planes anytime soon. No, I don't. Um, I got both and I like both. Birdman is the king at uh, flying blindly. If you don't know what I mean, go ahead and check out his channel. <laughs> he definitely has me beat as far as uh, flying distance on the bugs too um what else you guys got this is going on 45 minutes here have you dropped the drone so high it broke it immediately i have not um the bugs 2 was my recent fail i crashed into the taj mahal and it fell and it broke but when i got home from an atlantic city i fixed it and i got it right outside in the air at night time and since then i've modded it with legs and it also lifting an action camera so uh the bugs 2 is healthy the bugs 2 is good and the bugs 2 is definitely with us <laughs> um what else you guys got anything else uh we are at 46 minutes and 15 seconds here uh we will do a recap of why we actually started this do you see the air c air show i didn't see the ac air show still have the dm009 deals sam i do still have the dm009 deals it is pretty cheap on my ebay um if you need the link get at me what's the difference between the 502e and the bugs 2c um there's a lot of differences i'm not a professional on what the differences are just because i don't have the 502 uh we've modded a connection on this and that's what this post was about we are charging a parrot bebop battery off of an xt60 connection and we are almost charged um birdman do you have uh do you have the hubson that he's referring to uh in comparison to the bugs too birdman might be a better better guy to refer to that off the top of my head is uh 502e is brushed x5 c size 502e is that the desire is the 502e the hubson desire um if it is i have the hubson desire and there's no comparison <laughs> um yeah okay dude you gotta go to the ac air show ac air show yes uh, is there a cheap drone for 20 to 15 dollars um 20 to 15 dollars 20 to 15 dollars if yeah little red whoops little red whoops um i don't have one near me little red whoop you could get for that all day you could get that on amazon all day um crap Kind of lost my train of thought trying to read everything. Dude, you got to go to the AC here. So is there a cheap? So a Tarantula 1505. Tran Bam, Tarantula 1505 is a dope, dope bird for that price. Um, but the Desire, we were talking about the Desire. There's no comparison. You can't compare the Desire to the to the Bugs 2. The Bugs 2 will eat the Desire. Dude, the Bugs 2 would eat a family of Desires and shit it out and then re-eat it again. <laughs> if uh, you could dig what i'm saying um the desire is not a bad drone it's a good drone i've only flown mine about one or two times but it's a smaller brush gps drone versus a larger brushless gps drone uh they're night and day they're both gps but they're definitely both night and day um when in enough money i bought a butterfly knife uh okay uh recycled 502 yeah yeah the bug the bugs the bugs 2 is a 502e recycling compound you want to get your 502e's re recycled send them to the bugs 2 would you re recommend the orange gps drone i forget the name of it haha -ha. um orange gps drone the one that i have if it's the one that i have it is the wingsland mini vet and i would i'll tell which one are you talking about uh gorilla glue crazy glue or hot glue um gorilla glue go with gorilla glue i like gorilla glue um if you're talking about the autel i don't own the autel so i can't comment on that i have a friend who had it and it's great drone if you're talking about the wingsland uh mini vet i do suggest it i like it a lot it's a grab and go drone versus uh yeah bam wingsland um it's a grab and go drone versus the phantom it's essentially the phantom but a little bit less cost and uh 
It's grab and go. You don't have to have an app interface to it. And for me, I don't quite care for the app interface. I do like it, but I don't quite care for it. I like to grab and go. And with that drone, I can grab the controller, I can grab the drone, and I can go. And the controller operates off of batteries. You don't have to charge it. So if I know I have fresh batteries in it, the only thing I have to charge is the is the is the drone itself. Do you think I should get the wings in? Um Jacob. I don't think you should get the wings in. <laughs> um, you're a young flyer, and uh, up air has its own screen, 5.8. FPV. Um, the Wingsland also has the 5.8 FPV, but it does not have the telemetry that the, the up air has. Um, Jacob, you are a young flyer. I believe you've only had an X5 clone, and I suggest you get something along the X5 and master it and not crash it and keep it for a while and then go into the brushless drone. And as I was talking, let's see, run away from the plus model, LOL um what do you use to mount your external fpv camera um on what what drone are we talking about as far as the fpv camera goes if it's the wingsland it has an underhung gimbal from the factory um any well here i can show you let's see let's go over here and here we'll show you something small this is a small setup you can do on any drone. Check it out. Oh, and my camera came off its sticky mount, which we'll just put right back there. Bam. All right, check it out, guys. So this is the Cyclone from Drocon. MGX made one as well. This is the X5C killer that I've dubbed. This will eat an X5C all day. Um, the camera on this, this is a camera one, operates off of 5.8 gigahertz. It is not 5.8 gigahertz FPV like you're traditionally used to. This is 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi and I don't have a smart enough smartphone to pick it up. So I wanted a camera on it. All I've done here is I've wired See you at 3.7. I broke my stuff to charge, and the board just burst out of the smoke and plug wires. You got to take care of stuff, brother. You got to charge stuff right. Um, but yeah, I've simply connected this to a battery. I've created my own my own adapter, connected it to a small e sheen battery. Let's see if we can focus in there. Focus, 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 focus. Wait for it. Bam. Bring it in slow. Bring it in slow. 150 milli milliamp an hour 45c 3.7 that battery lasts forever um it'll run uh it'll run this camera forever and that's dude you could put that on anything you can put that on anything i have a sticky mount you see the little square underneath it that's just a little sticky mount that i have on there and then i can grab an fpv screen i can grab an fpv screen or i can grab goggles whichever and uh I can fly FPV with that, or I can just take it up. I can just take it up sky high and see what I'm seeing. The What I really would like, and I don't know if they make it. I'm sure they make it. I would like a small setup like that with a DVR in it. That way I can put a SD card in it, shoot it up, record, and show how high it's going. That's originally why I put it on there to see how high it was going. I can put my GoPro or something inside FPV goggles. That way I could show you guys how high it's going. And maybe I'll do that at some point as well. Um, what else you guys got? Anything else? Questions, comments, concerns, thoughts? Um, thoughts about something I've modded. Thoughts about something you're flying, something you're having issues with. The first video I saw of yours was the Wraith when it dropped out of the air. Um, I would have, uh, yeah, dude, dude, the Wraith, the Wraith could go shove it. Um, is there a cinema clone there? Old one. Yes, I just showed you. Cyclone. You can get cheap. Drocon sells them cheap, and uh, MGX sells them cheap. This drone will outfly a SEMA all day. But, uh, yeah, as far as the Wraith, man, I paid – dude, I bought that in Boscovs. I paid 140-some-odd dollars for that freaking X8 clone that just fell and fall and burn out motors, change motors, freaking things smell like smoke. I've kind of given up on it. I have, uh, yes, it is, dude. It's a hell of a ripoff. I thought it'd be good because the Striker is made from the same company, and the Striker is what I learned to fly on, and the Striker is one of the most reliable, most durable drones that you can buy. And here, 
their next model up that they're going to charge you almost two thirds more than what they charge a striker is garbage. Um, I have fresh motors for it. I have a fresh shell for it. The arm's broken on it right now. And I'm not fixing it. I don't know. Maybe at some point I'll fix it because I'd really like to fly. I'd really like to fly my $120 I spent, but I don't know. The first came when you all said Pablo drone was boy got me right was blue <laughs> that's funny yeah that was my wife uh call, calling him uh names and whatnot pablo's a good dude though love pablo um so obviously i'm assuming uh we have drone days members in here you have to apologize forgive me guys if you are drone days members uh i know some of you by your tags on youtube but some of you i don't some of you i know in drone days and i know in youtube and i don't i I haven't put the two together, so please forgive me on that. Uh, Drone Days members in the house, I appreciate y'all being over here on YouTube as well. Um, all right. Anything else, guys? We're going to go ahead and flip back down to our charger. Come on. Flip down to our charger, see where we're at. We were at 12.55, and this is a 11.1 volt battery, which it always charges higher than the voltage. I'm not sure... Uh, I'm not sure what a 3S is going to go up to. Maybe we'll stay here until uh, we can. Uh, maybe we'll stay here till we get a final shot on this. I would be drone days, but I don't have Facebook account because I want to channel what? 12.6. Somebody said 12.6. So where are we at? Good information, Birdman. Thank you. 12.6 we are almost there so we'll hang out we'll hang out until this makes some sound it'll go do 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 and uh show you that it's fully charged and what charged it xt60 connector through some wires bam rammed into positive and negative um yes 8.4 i'm familiar with on the 2s's uh let's see we have other comments here that uh definitely want to had to climb tree lately. I've been. I haven't had to climb any trees lately. How fast XT6 charge batteries? If it charges them a lot faster than the stock chargers. Um, since well, here we've uh, we've been on here uh, about 57 minutes. I've unplugged it a couple times and was messing around with it. So we're gonna say this is gonna be charged in roughly about 40 minutes. When uh, the original charger takes maybe an hour, hour and a half. So that's pretty good. That's really good. I could also, if I uh, if I turned up, if I turned up the amps, it would charge faster. But I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush whatsoever to charge it faster. But if you wanted to charge it faster, you could turn up the amps and charge it faster. But I'm also safe charging. Um, from what I know, moving a decimal over, that's what I know, and that's how I know how to charge things safely. Uh, don't turn up the amps. I agree. Probably should not turn up the ants. I, I also have a fast charge mode. I could have put it in fast charge mode. But again, I'm in no rush to charge this battery. This battery is charging. Just to show you guys. We we can charge off of an XT30 board. Or an XT60. I'm sorry. XT60 board. Still flying the Starfall. That thing looked awesome. Would you recommend it? I would recommend the Starfall. Um, I flew that. I don't know. Did any of you guys check out my BMX uh, abandoned video that I posted? I had a BMX abandoned video where I kind of walked around the BMX park and whatnot. Uh, initially, I had a couple photos at the end. Some of those photos were taken from the Starfall. Uh, I didn't anticipate that BMX park being abandoned. I went up there to fly. And I had uh, 2,000 2.0 amps is normal. Bam. More information. Information is good. Uh, appreciate you, Birdman. Um, but yeah, so I'm definitely still flying it, but you guys got to remember, I got a lot of drones <laughs> and I keep getting drones. My wife's about ready to rip my head off because I have so many freaking drones. So, uh, exactly. No rush on charging. Don't rush charging. If you rush charging, you're down. You're like, you're liable to have lipo fire. You're liable to have lipo swell. You're liable to screw up your batteries. Take it easy charging. Um, I'm in no rush charging. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so I'm always all over the place. I always watched your H107. I got the Tenergy blue one. Yeah, dude. I want the Tenergy blue one. And if it's still on Viping much longer, I might get it. $30 is a steal for it. I'll switch over my other channel. I'll be right back. All right. See you later, Jacob. Happy tuning in. 
one more very important tip guys birdman has a very important tip i don't know if you guys are able to see this chat box or not uh i would assume down the side you could see one another's but i'm reading everything that everybody's saying that way you can hear me vocalize it and you can get what everybody else is saying birdman's throwing tips out so we're definitely going to uh read it um jack says i have four drones i have no room for them <laughs> i could imagine yeah dude i have a whole room full of freaking drones and it's starting to spill out into the main area uh birdman says never charge let's see never charge lipos off your car letter lighter with a usb adapter my brother learned that the hard way <laughs> i have done that but i've done it with very small batteries and kept a close eye on it and also did not leave them in a car unattended but my brother had one shoot a light of fire and um yeah he called me and uh wasn't too happy that he had like a fire burst up next to his face so uh yeah good information birdman um i ruined one like that the strain is awesome show the strain is an awesome show lol back somebody's back jacob's probably back i don't know about the strain i don't watch too much tv i'm generally outside playing with my uh, cadillacs playing with my drones uh occasionally mountain biking and a lot of time spent online with you guys <laughs> um my wife watches some tv so whatever she's watching i generally uh get on rc boy is jacob jacob is back um fpv tv for me yes word i need to get more on fpv um but what else guys anything else we are past the one hour mark this went really well i'm happy you guys tuned in we're definitely going to do this more often maybe we'll do it from different locations not just my kitchen we're, we're in my kitchen right now or in the side of my kitchen um or i generally do it on my recliner which is in that room over there where you can see the chandelier and the fan and whatnot um i charge my bugs to lipo with a small 12 volt one amp trickle charge takes one and a half hours uh never gets hot never get hot good slow charges are good as well um any nice from drone days thanks jason bam andy from drone days is here drone days is a hundred percent in the house uh, and again, if you're watching this and you're not on Drone Days, you definitely want to check it out. When I finish this video in the comments, I will put the Drone Days link in there. When you go live, you can't really edit the comment part. Uh, uh, booyah! He said booyah, and I say bam! <laughs> um, Best Buy has surprisingly good drone assortment. Uh, yes, Best Buy does have a good drone assortment. I have a video on Best Buy, just walking around, checking out the videos. Type in... Best Buy, J Drone. You get a walkthrough of our local Best Buy. DJ says, pow. Um, Y'all could phrase it up however you like. You want to use bam? That's my thing. Bam. Um, you want pow? And what pow? With it. <laughs> uh, are you considering having an upgrade of your camera gear? Not in the mean way. Um, upgrading my camera gear. Uh, I Dude, I have camera gear out the wazoo. Right now, I am on a cell phone. I'm on a cell phone that was given to me by Ralph Mina. And Ralph Mina is a Drone Days member. He essentially sent me the cell phone to see if it would work with the bugs too. And it didn't. And he said, dude, hold on to it. So that's what I'm using here. And again, we will turn this way. It is on a tripod. So, bam. It's on a tripod. So I can have it stable. I can rotate it around and whatnot. But um, what drone did I lose? The drone that I lost, which was one of my, or not drone, the camera that I lost, which was one of my favorite cameras, was on the Axis Cam. Uh, was the Axis Cam. The Axis Cam I lost on the X16 GPS drone. I was not happy about that. I was, I bought the Axis Cam for under $30 when I paid for it. Now they're up around $50. It's a very good camera and I might get another one because I don't have a go-to drone camera now because I won't strap my GoPro on just to anything because it's so expensive. What phone is it? I got a Bugs 2 on order. How was that wedding you had video from? Look pretty fun. The wedding, uh, I didn't get to have fun in it because I decorated the wedding. I set up the wedding. I'm in the catering business, so I was working the wedding. While I was walking around, I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I, what I do and essentially my work environment. That's my work environment. Um, the phone, I don't know what this phone is. Uh, I do know that I've tried several phones. I've tried several people's phones that will not connect to the bugs too. 
you have to have a really new phone. A lot of the newer uh, iPhones, supposedly, they'll connect. Uh, a lot of the newer Galaxies, supposedly, they'll connect. But it really has to be new, new. And uh, I don't have new, new. I'm a drone head. I'm not really a phone head. So, uh, I mean, nope, my original phone's not here. Uh, iPhone 6 Plus. I don't know. Uh, I really don't know because, again, I'm not a drone head. I d if the iPhone 6 Plus is the newest iPhone, it should. Uh, if it's if it's a year old, it might not. Have you tried a run cam split on any of your quads? I don't have a run cam. Uh, I see a lot of people running the run cams, and I've been looking at the run cams. I don't have one yet. I'll probably end up getting one at some point, but uh, I like the box square action cams, a little bit of wide angleness. I'm going to buy a new drill next week around twenty to thirty dollars. I can't stand not being in the air. Um, what? Can't stand not being okay. Maybe a new drone. Which one should I? I already told you, brother Jacob. If you are looking for a good drone, Cyclone, Google MJX Cyclone or Drocon Cyclone. That's going to be a durable drone for you. It's going to be a flyable drone for you. It's going to allow you to learn. And we got another comment here. It's cool, brother. Whatever happened with that security guard in the abandoned mall? Security guard was cool. Um, dude, I didn't ask to fly in that mall. Whenever I'm inside flying a drone, I didn't ask. I just kind of go off, grab my drone. Look around, calibrate it, pop it up, and walk around and start flying. Um, dude was cool. He stopped me, and uh, he essentially said, look, you can finish flying over there and whatnot. Just don't fly down there because people... What? He told you to wait until he left. Well, yeah, I'm getting to that. But uh, he, he told me to fly over there. Just I don't want you around the people. Then on the way out, I waved to him. I'm like, yo, my dude. Um, and he, kind he came out of the security office, and uh, and he's like, you know what? I'm leaving soon. So, you know, if you want to go ahead and fly wherever you want, I'm leaving soon. <laughs> so I'm like, when are you leaving? <laughs> and he's like, eh, you know, about two, three minutes. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go out to my car. I had the wings land with me. I was flying. What was I flying inside? I was flying the Esheen E30, E40G, E30G, Esheen E40G. I was flying the Esheen E40G inside, went outside, popped the wings land uh, mini bed up for an aerial view, came back down. Dude, he was gone. <laughs> Dude said, I'm out, fly where you want, and I did. So I flew the rest of the back end in the mall, and that was, I believe, the last part of uh, the abandoned video. Um, that's cool you guys are checking out my abandoned stuff. That's a big part of my life, too. I like history. I like abandoned stuff. I like old stuff. I like old cars and whatnot. But, um... All right, guys, I think we are going to end this. I have uh, I have a Bugs 2 video that will be on YouTube. Definitely check that out. That's the modded Bugs 2. And uh, I flew the Parrot Bebop today. We're probably going to try to get that on as well. I am off the next two days, so maybe we'll go live again within the next two days. And we're definitely going to get some flying done in the next two days. If you have any questions, you have any comments, you have any concerns, down in the comments, I'll try to get back to you. And if I don't get back to you, comment again. Say, hey, J Drone, I commented. You haven't gotten back to me, and I'll definitely get back to you uh i'm big on battlefields ever, ever been to any uh i've been to gettysburg that's about the only battlefield that i've been to um but bam happy you guys enjoyed it be easy fly safe oh bam perfect timing did y'all hear that it went -de 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 -de. that was not a phone that was this and there it said finish total time it took was 52 minutes and 33 seconds. And uh, we are charged. Look, we just charged a Parrot Bebop battery off of a B6 charger with the middleman being a uh, XT60 board. Bamzo. Um, we're not flying anymore tonight, but experiment complete. And earlier on drone days, I showed charging the Bugs 2 battery the same exact way guys if y'all want to say it with me you should know what's coming i'm j drone if you haven't subscribed please do have a wonderful day and fly safe take care thank y'all for watching and uh again we'll do more of this have a good day